When technology works for everyday emergencies, when technology works for the annual disasters, then we can start talking about scaling up to catastrophic events. The problem again falls in, everybody goes and goes, ooh, big shiny object, the media's really got it attention. Let's send all our stuff to Haiti, which is great and is very important to do. But yet they ignore the 70 some thousand plus single family home fires that occur every year. They ignore the multi-state floods that occur every year. So when we start doing preparedness, we start talking about technology, the group should come out and do that. Because if you want to do preparedness, if, if you want to race a race, your car does not go from zero to 100 and you win. It goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up through that way. And unless you go through all your gears, you can't get to top speed. And the problem is, the technology for the middle gears isn't there. And that is the perfect playground. And I don't mean playground like it's a fun place. <laughs> now that's a perfect sandbox to test out this technology. Not because everyone's gonna build all this stuff after Oklahoma City bombing and then wait. Everyone's gonna build the stuff after 9-11 and wait. Everyone's gonna build the stuff after Katrina Rita Wilma and wait. Everyone's gonna build the stuff after Haiti and wait. Why not just do the spring floods? and then wait and oh a couple weeks later the next state's going to flood and a couple weeks later the next state's going to flood and you can test and test and test and test and then when our technology can do that then look to scale to the next level